Texas and I'm back on site today for my regular sort of half day morning to lunchtime work run. Uh, I've already got this section of the wall up. I've been moving pretty quickly this morning because I did all the thinking work and all the layout work and all the prep work yesterday. Uh, so I jumped right onto this and now I'm working, if you look down uh, below you, uh, on the wall that's going to be going up right in this section here. So I've got this and this. I decided to do this wall before this wall because once I start getting this wall in here, this wall here actually goes up higher. Uh, as you can see, it goes all the way up to this, uh, the floor joist up there instead of just to the beam. So I was thinking I might actually have had difficulty getting this wall in if I built it out here um, uh, you know, after I built that, built that wall. So, uh, so I'm doing this one now and I wanted to show you uh, a technique that I use whenever I get uh, boards that have kind of a corkscrew kind of twist to them. There's all sorts of imperfections you, you'll get when you get a bunch of lumber and one of them is twisty boards and those can be kind of the most challenging if they've got like a little bit of a bow to them uh, or, or also called the crown. You can kind of work with that and kind of bend it here or there but twisty boards can be kind of challenging and this one right here, uh, number three in my series of studs, uh, has quite a significant twist to it. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of this three quarter inch board and I've screwed it to it right down here, and that's going to give me some leverage. I've already got two nails ready uh, in here, and I'm going to use my toe kind of as a fulcrum point, and I can pull it right into position. I make nice clean lines on my, uh, on my board so it's easy to line up. I know when I'm straight, uh, and that looks pretty good, so I'm going to do, oh, I want to put some weight down on all this to make sure everything's uh, on the same plane this way, nice and flush. And we look good, so I'll put that in. Looks good still. On the other one. Looks good. All right. Straight here. It pulled it a little bit up to the uh, up on the top end. If I was really concerned about it, I could have put a bunch more uh, nails in up with the the other end to keep it from twisting, but realistically this is just a stud wall and there's a little bit of a corkscrew on some of these, it's not that big a deal. I'm going to be just putting sheathing over the whole thing anyway. So this is what I'm doing today, I've been here for just a couple of hours, so I'm thinking I'll be able to finish this wall, then maybe a few more down there, and as soon as I get this whole section of stud wall complete, I'm going to be able to use a crap load of these wall boards to sheath it up and that's going to get a lot of material out of my way and it'll just make it that much more easy to work on everything else that we're working on which is next step is walls upstairs on the second floor. That's it. Thanks for watching.